Hello everyone and welcome to this module on LTV, CLTV, and HCLTV. So LTV is calculated using the following equation. It's the loan amount divided by the property's value or the purchase price, whichever is lower. And in calculating the LTV, we use the borrower's principal balance as the loan amount. In calculating LTV, we use the lower of either the property value or the purchase price when making the calculation. So let's do an example. John owes $300,000 on his mortgage. His home is valued at $320,000 and the purchase price was $315,000. What is his LTV? Remember, this is the equation for the LTV. It's the loan amount divided by the property's value or the purchase price, whichever is lower. So for the loan amount, he owes $300,000 for his mortgage. As for the property value or the purchase price, the lower is the purchase price, which is $315,000, and we utilize that to calculate the LTV. So the loan amount is $300,000, as we said, and we utilize the lower of either the property value or the purchase price to make this calculation. The lower is the purchase price for $315,000, and we get 0.952 or 95% LTV for John's mortgage. Let's talk about the combined loan to value or the total loan to value. The combined loan to value is abbreviated as CLTV, and this is used by Fannie Mae. On the other hand, the total loan to value is abbreviated as TLTV, and this is used by Freddie Mac. And they both function to calculate the same exact thing. It's just that we have different names for them depending on whether they're utilized by Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. So let's talk about the CLTV or the TLTV. To calculate the CLTV or the TLTV, you grab the first loan amount plus the second loan amount and divide it by the property value or the purchase price, whichever is lower. So the CLTV or the TLTV is calculated in the case that there is more than one lien on a property. And if a subordinate lien is a HELOC, we utilize the amount owed on the HELOC, not the HELOC limit. You'll see what I mean here in a bit. So let's do some CLTV or TLTV practice. Jack has a property valued at $350,000, which he purchased for $355,000. He currently owes $300,000 on his first mortgage. He also owes $25,000 on a second mortgage, which is a HELOC with a limit of $30,000. What is his CLTV or TLTV? Remember that the CLTV and TLTV are essentially the same thing. The CLTV is utilized by Fannie Mae, whereas the TLTV is utilized by Freddie Mac. So remember, the equation for CLTV or TLTV is the first loan amount added to the second loan amount divided by the property value or the purchase price, whichever is lower. So let's take a look at his first loan amount. His first loan amount is obviously $300,000. Remember, he currently owes $300,000 on the first mortgage. His second loan amount is the HELOC loan amount. This is $25,000. And remember, we utilize the loan amount on the HELOC and not the HELOC loan limit. Finally, we utilize the lower of either property value or the purchase price. In this case, the lower is a property value, which is $350,000. And so to calculate the CLTV or the TLTV, we grab the first loan amount of $300,000 plus the $25,000 for the HELOC loan amount divided by $350,000, which is the property's value. And we get 0.929 or 93% for a CLTV or TLTV. Now let's shift gears and talk about the high combined loan to value or the high total loan to value. The high combined loan to value is abbreviated as HCLTV and it's used by Fannie Mae. On the other hand, the high total loan to value is abbreviated as HTLTV and is utilized by Freddie Mac. So let's talk about the equation for the HCLTV or HTLTV. The equation is the following. It's the first loan amount plus the HELOC limit divided by the property value or the purchase price, whichever is lower. So the HCLTV or HTLTV is calculated when there is a HELOC taken out on the property that is still in the draw period. So let's do some HCLTV or HTLTV practice. Jack has a property valued at $350,000. That's the property's value, which he purchased for $355,000. So immediately you want to take a look and see what is lower, the property value or the purchase price. So in this case, it's the property value that is lower, and that's the value that you're going to use in the calculation of HCLTV or HTLTV. 
He currently owes $300,000 on his first mortgage. That's the first loan amount that you will insert into the equation. He also owes $25,000 on a second mortgage, which is a HELOC with a limit of $30,000. So remember for HCLTV or HCLTV, you do not grab the amount owed on the HELOC, rather you grab the HELOC limit, which is $30,000. So the equation for HCLTV or HTLTV is the first loan amount plus the HELOC limit divided by the property value or the purchase price. So let's see what that looks like in answering the question. So the HCLTV or HTLTV is equal to the following. The first loan amount, which is $300,000 plus the HELOC limit, which is $30,000 divided by the property value or the purchase price, whichever is lower. And we've already determined that it is the property value that is lower of $350,000. And the answer is 0.943 or 94% for his HCLTV or HTLTV. And this concludes our module on LTV, CLTV, and HCLTV.